Hi, I'm John Storms, and Trevor Online was asking how you uh, hook up a power supply. Now, I'm not an electrician, and the electronics thing isn't my natural hobby, but I've been able to pick up enough from Clyde's videos and working with, uh, with Alan that uh, we're able to fumble our way through. So this is a 350-watt power supply um, that generates 12 volts and 30 amps. So everything I do is, is 12 volts, but pretty much uh, my understanding is power supplies work the same. Now the first thing I do is you got to look at the, all the little letters here. So you got L, N, ground, V minus, V plus. Now, not entirely sure the reason, but when I got a power supply once from, uh, from Jim at Sand Devices, he had uh, V minus and ground jumpered like this. And, uh, you know, I trust Jim, so I, I continue doing that. So, I did that one first because it, it's a little hard to do with, uh, with big fingers. And I did it offline so you wouldn't watch it fumbling around. So then I have a, a, mix, a cord. This is just a power cord that I took off of anything. Uh, in this case, it was an old uh, power strip. And I stripped off the, 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 the end, and then I dipped the connectors in solder just to so they don't fray. That's not necessary. So what you do is on your power supply here, you run ground into ground, like that, screw them down, and then white goes into N, which I believe is for neutral. This is your AC power connection. And then he gets screwed down. And then black goes into L, which I believe means live. That's the one. And I usually just remember that black goes on the outside. So that is my AC connection. Now, what I can do right now, you make this is important to do, especially when uh, people like us are buying power supplies from China and who knows where. You plug it in. And then the first test is to see if anything blows up. Plug it in. Turn on the power strip. Power strip's on. And then you can see there's a little green light there. So, next I want to take multimeter. This is the, I think it's one of the cheapest multimeters I could find. Got it at Lowe's. I set it to a load of 20 volts. And then what I want to do is I want to do my probes. So red is always positive. Black is always negative. So what I'm going to do is I put the red on one of the the V plus and I put the black on one of the V minuses. And then I look at my display. And you see that? It says 12.06. So it's just a little over 12 volts. Now that is fine. That's not a problem. You want to be within 2% when you get to your lights. Now if for whatever reason you thought it was a little too high, a little too low, you look in this little hole, there's a screw in there, it's hard to see, and what you do is you get a little screwdriver and you just give it like a little quarter turns in one direction or the other until you get the voltage to where you like it, okay? And that's how you hook up the AC. Now, before we do the next piece, you make sure you turn it off, unplug it, because so now you want to hook it up to whatever board it is you're going to do. Now, even though it's unplugged, I want to make sure that little green light goes out. So now I have a black wire for V minus, like this. Okay, pop them in there, screw them down. I have another wire just like it, but red. And I put that into V positive. Now you want to make sure that your wires are thick enough, meaning they have a high enough gauge, enough gauge, so that they're not going to melt under load when you hook them up to your controllers. Then when you hook them up to your controllers, the black one goes to minus, red one goes to positive. Well, if you're doing a CMB 20, D, a CMB D24, it's harder to see. You see, I got the red one going to positive, black going to negative on both of those. Okay. It's a different kind of power supply. This is from Laterama. I'm going to have these up all year, so I wanted something uh, a little better. Sand devices. 
You see I got red going to positive, black going to negative. And you just screw them down. So Trevor, it's that easy.